Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this tutorial, JavaScript while loop will be used. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. Loops execute one or more statements up to a specific number of times. Use a while loop to execute a set of statements as long as a condition is true. I'll be using the learning JavaScript course web IDE for this tutorial I don't, because it also inspired this tutorial. JavaScript runs in a web browser for client-side interactive or automated web applications. As you can see here, with a while loop, this is the condition here. So as long as this is true, then this block of code will continuously run. So as you can see here, uh, what I do for this particular example, the counter is set to zero. So when the loop first runs, it will look for the counter to be less than 10. So because it starts at zero, the counter will be less than 10. So it's true. So it's going to run, it, this condition will be true. So to run this. Then here you see, other, if, if I don't change the counter, then this loop will be uh, endless loop. So here I, co uh, I increment the counter. So for example, after the first run, then it's going to become 1. So when it runs again, the counter will still be less than 10, so forth, and so to continuously run until when the counter becomes 10, 10 will not longer be less than 10, so it will stop, it will, then you'll be able to exit out of the loop. So we, there's also other ways to can get out of the loop. You can use break, or you can use an if statement, or this continue and is return if you're inside a function or method. So that will be explained when we look at the article for these tutorials. But let's begin. So as you know, you can always copy and paste into the code editor here. I'll create Uh, let's see here. I'll create the two variables. The first will be pickup truck. It'll be an object. Very similar. Actually, this object could be a JSON. It's a valid JSON. because I'm using double quotes and the year that one doesn't need to be, be uh, in double quotes it's numeric and then I can create a regular array Okay, then what I can do is, I'll show you again, if you're not using loops, it's kind of tedious because you have to go through each individual item in the object. Or in this case, I'm just printing them out, uh -oh. but still, you see it's very tedious. And you can imagine if the object was very big, it this would take a very, very long time to to do this. This is why we use loops. Four. And there's a mistake here. We don't need one of those. Oops. There we go. Now, the while loop.
object the entries entries pick up truck dot length key and value equals object dot entry oops entries pick up truck counter So the log. That's the uh, tilde sign. Uh, the or oh, in Linux the same one you use. Key. And as I said before, we'll increment it just by one. And then we'll have another loop for the even numbers. So we'll just say while n is less than even, even number at length. We also need to increment it and close it. Now, to run this, hopefully, it didn't, yeah, I didn't make any mistake. You can see Ford FC is 1984, 246810. So you see, I had to print this multiple times. However, by using a loop, you have more options. You can see here, I can get the brand, Ford, uh, model, the year, and same with the other even numbers. It's much easier. Less lines of code. Uh, then see and I can manipulate it and do different things than just uh, if you do it manually so that's the end of the actual tutorial the article is on uh, jumbo.com slash javascript hyphen while hyphen loop as you can see here I explain what a loop is here you can click that to explain what the loop is the duration uh, this is how a while loop works as I said it's based on a condition if the condition is true then it continuously continue they can use break to end the execution of a uh, current structure basically break out of the loop or the block uh, continue means you can skip that one and go to the next iteration uh, if you want to see the code snippet you expand here this is just the screenshots of the code and the output from the uh, compiler and this is the video watching right now this is the ojamboshop.com learning javascript course you can still use the promo code school for 20 percent off until the end of 2024 that's december the 31st of 2024 but once you get the course you can use it anytime you want meaning that you can use it in january 2025 or december 20 December 31st 2025 and so forth and also if you want the ebook for your reader uh, you can get the just the book version or the ebook version uh, from amazon.com just search for Edward Jumbo again uh, the links will be in the description make sure you subscribe for more frequent uh, videos and tutorials and here's the links again and the references of uh, the learning JavaScript course on jumboshop.com, learning JavaScript ebook on uh, Amazon. And also, if you prefer one on one tutorials, you can go to jumboservices.com for custom websites, applications, and tutorials. Thank you.